Oh, the love zone separates. Well, they don't live on the down here. So down here they just die and you guys don't care? Well, I don't think many people have died from not having cigarettes. What's this? I'll die from not having a cigarette. Hey? Okay. I'll die. Oh yeah? Yep. Okay. Watch me. Moments later, Jared was still standing. And now it was Constable Kath Thompson's turn to try and break through. If you are held in custody overnight, you may able, you may talk to and be the nurse who involved. Oh, you just want to sign it, do you understand it? I don't understand it, actually. You have the right to a stroke. Stop talking and listen. A lawyer in private without delay. I'll take that one. You haven't been charged with anything. A lawyer is not going to be able to help you. Yeah. You're going to stay here for a couple of hours, have a sleep, and then you can go. Do you understand those things? I understand that I don't have to talk to a lawyer. Would you like to? Just. I'd like to speak to one. What would you like right. to speak to a lawyer about? I'd like to have a cigarette. You can't. What would the lawyer's you like not going to help you have a cigarette. No, no, no. I don't want to talk to a lawyer. Can I please have a cigarette? No, you can't. A cig. Once. For several minutes, Jared searched the form for the bit that said he could have a cigarette. I'll sign this form if I can have you a cigarette. You can't have a cigarette down here. You shoot the sprinklers off if you have a cigarette down here. And you pay a thousand bucks for the fire engine. Whoa. But finally, to everybody's relief, he signed the form and went to bed. A few hours later, Jared had sobered up enough to be released. Your problem. Hey. Get that cap off. Get your feet. Next week on Police 107, we're in Hamilton when Jenny gets pulled up at a drink drive checkpoint. South Auckland police have to deal with baseball bats and gun threats as they try to keep the peace in Mungary. And we're out with Constable Keith Mitchell and his police dog Zorba when a man tries to flee after a particularly vicious assault. Oh, yes. Thank you.